Yeah, we wanted we wanted all the happiness things from um, from religions, but that's fine. Pedogas have been taken, temples have been taken. There are a few other options in there. I think we can still get mosques, which produce uh, culture, faith, um, a bit of happiness. That wouldn't be too bad. And I think there's a there's a skill that is um, shrines give you plus one happiness for three followers. I think, which again, that'll multiply across our cities pretty quickly, pretty well. So we might just go for that actually. They're not the best of policies. I, they wouldn't have been the ones I would have chosen from the outset, but. Um, but we'll live with them for now. Okay. I'm just sort of letting all of my places grow naturally at the moment. Um, it's probably not the, probably not the best thing to do. But um, I'm, I, I didn't start micromanaging the happiness to uh, within an inch of its life. I, I, if I wanted to do that, really, I should have gone. If I wanted to go crazy wide, where I have to really micromanage the happiness on every city, I really should have gone religion quicker. I might do that in another game, actually. If I'm gonna, if I'm gonna really show everyone how to really play wide, so we're talking thirty cities for every opponent's um for every opponent's one city. Um, I might, uh, I might do that with with someone else. Maybe not. Um. Maybe not shows only. They don't really have any benefits to playing wide as such. Maybe the Celts. Celts are great for it. They're really good for it. Poland's pretty pretty good. But again, they're quite top tier. A lot of people play as Poland. And they, to me, they feel a little cheaty. Um, they are very, very good. Okay, the train has finished exploring. It literally has nowhere else to go. So I'm going to just dock it in Copenhagen. We can look after it there for now. I may as well keep it. We can upgrade it to seafaring vessels. Um... At some point, ah, oh, we've lost our ally of Mombasa. That's going to be a problem because we need to keep their happiness. So let's just go and look and see what Mombasa wants. It wants a great musician. We're not, we're not going to get a great musician. We haven't got any musician generating buildings at this precise moment. Um, so we're going to have to give them money, really. And it'll only get us 15 influence, and that's going to drop by point. So it's only going to give us the 250 gold for happiness there. For only ten turns, that's not a that's not a viable long term strategy. So we're going to just keep building these coliseums. I think that's going to how how we're going to have to do this. But we can live with that. That's not too bad. Jerusalem wants my land bullied. Oh, that's not very nice, Jerusalem. That's not very nice at all. Actually, to be honest, one of our one of our options we, we need to start considering here. A, a lot of people dislike us anyway. We're not best friends of anyone here, and um, the city states are they really are. They they're not going to be friends with us very easily. So those spices they might be nice. Actually, I might have to take Mombasa just just to raise it to the ground to steal the happiness. It might be a bit of a false economy though, thinking about it, because then we'd get a lot of unhappiness from owning it. So maybe that's not not a viable option for us really. Um, I have to think about that. Okay, we're just chugging ahead in turns. We're going to have a few more Colosseums built very soon. Uh, our Gorp turn's gone down a little bit, but I imagine that's because some of our places are focusing a bit more on um, production tiles now that we're unhappy. Oh, look at that. We've got another social policy. Now, let's see what we're going to do. So we can keep going down um, Honor, but... Um, which we begin to give us gold for killing people. If we're going to finish honor, then that would pretty much be telling us that we we have to we have to go to war with everyone. That's going to be our only option here. Um, we can finish liberty. Actually, finishing liberty might be really good. So by finishing liberty, we we get a three three great person, and what we can do is actually found our religion instantly by another great prophet, and and upgrade the religion very quickly. So let's let's do that. Um, we can get ourselves a golden age as well. That might help. Um, we can get uh, more happiness for connected cities. Yeah, let's let's just let's just finish off liberty. I think it wouldn't be a bad move. Okay, opening up tech tree. Now this was the choice: science, science or production. Science or production. I'm going to have to go production. And maintenance too. That's going to be the problem with workshops. But two production in each city. That's um, it does add up. And I can go for the Notre Dame, which will give us a lot of happiness, which I'm tempted by. Let's go for the Notre Dame. I think that's going to be a good option. And from then, we can uh, push to get crossbowmen and, uh, and, and musketmen very quickly, which will give us some steady army that we can start to go to war with a little bit, and then we can build the education up later. We might regret that move. You may be, you may be seeing me um, ut ut utterly regret that move in a bit, but um, we'll see how it goes. There you go, the city connection finished, that's probably. Oh, another religion. Oh, you see, everyone's getting there before me now. I did leave it late. 
all this talking about the fact that no one had done it, but um, the, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be pretty much the last people to make one, I think. Only one can be founded. Ooh, it's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. It's not bad to have faith because we can end up spending it later in the game anyway. But um, what did they just make Catholicism? Oh no, we wanted this one. Church property plus two gold for every city following the religion. That's really good for white empires because it spreads and we're getting two gold for every city. That is a wonderful one. You see, we should have gone faith a lot earlier. That's a real shame, that. But apart from that, they haven't really picked anything that, we, um, that we're um that we going to miss particularly. So that's fine. Um, okay, the uh, Colosseum has been finished here in Adkidka. Um, so we're going to build a circus. That's just another some three happiness. I don't know why I haven't built that before. Got the two wonders being built in our city. Actually, this, this can be quite fun. When you've got a nice wide empire, you can start to build wonders everywhere just for the hell of it. Just in every one of your cities. Um, you end up not winning many of them, but it gets you a nice amount of gold, really, doesn't it? So, it's never too bad. 680 was the magical figure, wasn't it, to be able to instantly buy a Colosseum on market. 680. Okay, so we can uh, keep saving towards that. Okay, and just pressing forward on the turns. Our cargo ship is very close to being ready. That's great. Again, well, our, our gold is plummeting, but actually you can see why 13 spent on tile improvement maintenance and we've got only um, 10 from City Connection. So our workers are building up. Uh, actually, look, you can see here, the, uh, there's a road in my territory that I think I'm probably paying for. That's not great, is it? I should probably get workers to start removing that or build another city at the end of it, where, where the where the old one was. I might have to do that because that's going to cost me a lot of gold. Oh, I don't know why I didn't see that before. That's, uh, that is annoying. Okay. Well, what I might do then is, um, okay, that worker is doing something useful. He's making a trading post. Um, to be honest, I can, I can, I can do without that for a turn. I'm going to get him to sort of stand on the other end of the road and, and slowly work backwards and, uh, and get rid of the road, rescue some of our gold per turn. Never used to have any, um, any unused roads really, apart from with the Inca. I love the Inca. Yeah, great serve to use um, all the three roads that you can do. There we go, trade route Copen, uh, City Connection with Copenhagen has been made. Wonderful. Okay, our caravan, it can get another trade route for us. Does any of the city states want one? No, um, nobody wants one. That's fine, so we can, we can just look to make one. Mombasa was pretty safe as a route. No one's gonna be able to steal that from us, so. We'll keep one on Bassa for now. That's not a bad place to be. The Great Wall. Not very good for wide empires, really, is it? You end up having about 10% of your entire empire taken, which is never great. Okay, workers. Here we go. So we're going to start to destroy the road, won't we? So there's no road. I swear there's road there. Is it going to give us an option to remove it? No, maybe not. Okay. Can we not remove it if it's on our territory? Or maybe it doesn't cost us anything if it's not on our territory. Okay, well, that's that's not too bad then. I'll, I'll get rid of these two bits anyway. We've almost got another route here. But you see, this is, this is, I think, why my gold is being sapped at the moment. It's because I've got all of these roads that are being built. Um, but that's fine. Once they're set up, it's... Uh, there we go. Remove a road. Start to do that. Actually, you're... you're, you're Perfectly posed to do this. Stop building a trading post and build, remove that road whilst you're sat there. Wonderful. Get two gold per turn back from doing that. This trade route's finished. Where are they going to build the road? I think they're probably just going to jet off from the side of this incense to go to Goshuti. Probably go from Pahukwi to uh, Congo, I'd say. Got engineering. Wonderful. City connection is done. Wonderful. Uh, there we go. The cargo ship is finished, so we will continue. We've done the... Oh, we've actually built the Colosseum here, and we've built the market. So we can start building something useful. From here, the courthouse, I think it's going to it's gonna bite us if we don't um, build that pretty quickly. But I'm just going to build a shrine, really see if we can get a bit more faith. You've got to have faith. That road is gone. Okay, the road was done pretty quickly there. I mean, you can still see the road. I don't think my computer has quite understood the fact that it's disappeared. But, um, there we go. Okay, 
you just continue doing whatever it was you were doing before I waylaid you. Now we needed to move that to Copenhagen, didn't we? That's where all the best trading routes had come from. Okay, dokey. Let's see what this next turn brings. So cargo ship. Okay, nine gold per turn. That's nice. I could pump food into one of my cities, but with unhappiness so low, I don't think that's going to be a very good option. It's great when you're playing with it. Actually, one of the, the best things I like to use food trade routes for is when you're playing with Egypt. What you end up doing is you play tradition, make yourself three cities. Um, apart from, from your capital, so you've got four in total. Good old tradition start, and you get every single one to pump food into into your capital as Egypt, and you end up getting such a big city, so much production, that you can build any wonder in like five turns. It's, it's really good fun, that. That or Korea, when you get a really high population with Korea, they tend to start really kicking out the signs. Jitsunitsa, I did get it in the end. There we go, wonderful. So what does that give us again? I can't even remember. That gave us happiness, did it? Plus or happiness, that's um, so why have we gone down so? I, I swear we were on uh, more happiness than, than minus five. Oh well, there we go. This is happening. Okay, so what am I going to get you guys to build a temple? I get myself double faith, but it's too maintenance. So really, I, I might build workshops over the top of that, I think. Um, I might see if I can build myself Petra. May as well just keep trying to crank out um, wonders while I can. There's no real... There seems to be no real... Uh, problem at the moment. I don't, barracks, I'm not going to build any more warriors at the moment because I've got such a good standing army. Uh, I could get myself extra culture, but it's only plus one for one gold. Stable. Um, actually, you know what? I've got cattle and I've got horses there. So that's going to be at least two extra production. Yeah, I could build a stable. Let's do that. Yeah, let's build a stable. Sometimes a lot of those little buildings, stables, but, uh, forges, that sort of thing, I, I, I never end up building, but they can be really, really handy. I should I should probably spend more effort doing it. Okay, so. I'm just waiting for our great prophet. I'm aware that there's been a few great prophets before this. We, we're not the first religion, so we're probably going to have to shoot over the 300 that it's telling us that we need. Um... Or I'm going to talk about it, and it's going to it's going to give me a free one. That's never a bad thing, really, is it? There we go. It's found a religion. Oh, hey. Okay, I am going to give myself a lovely, a lovely little bird thing. I like this one. I'm going to call it. What shall I call my religion? Ryanism. Nice and easy for now. We'll come up with some better names later. Now let's see what's already been pinched. Actually, teeth. Ah, oh, gold producing one. Um. That's not bad. So, so I'm going to have to make the choice here. Global happiness for every two cities following this religion. I've got eight cities. That's going to give me four happiness. It's like having one extra luxury good. Or if I assume that every uh, city of mine is going to have four citizens in it at least, that would get me one gold per city. Um, eight gold or four happiness. Which one's going to be the best? Um, do, 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 do. Initiation rights wears off pretty quickly. That that it, it tempts you with gold, but actually, if you think about it, at eight gold per turn with Teeth, you, you'd get that back so quickly. Hmm. Let's go for the ceremonial barrel. Get some happiness. I think we're just going to get a happiness religion. I think. Uh, and mosques. There we go. Three faith, two culture, plus one happiness. This is. I normally go for this one after pagodas, um, but that'll get some extra. Um, happiness which will be great there we go a little eagle wonderful 